for which value of k will the quadratic equation y is equal to uh, x squared plus k minus 3 times x plus point to phi k have exactly one solution. So yeah, this is a quadratic equation. So let me write the quadratic equation y is equal to x squared plus k minus 3 times x plus 0 0.25k plus 0 0.25k is the quadratic equation. So when you compare this with the standard uh, quadratic equation, which is a x squared plus, this is the general form of any quadratic equation. So I can say, well, a, a is the coefficient of x squared. So I can compare that with 1. So the co a is 1. b is the coefficient of x. So b is k minus 3. And c is the constant. So c, in this case, is 0 0.25. Okay. Now, why did I write a, b, and c? Because I know the keyword here is the quadratic equation have, have exactly one solution. So when you say it's exactly one solution, what does that mean in terms of the quadratic equation? Exactly one solution means the parabola, if you want to graph it, uh, if you want to draw a rough sketch of a parabola, so this is your y-axis, this is your y-axis, and say this is your x-axis, so this is the y and x-axis, and this is your parabola. So the parabola would look somewhat like this. Okay, so this is what it means graphically. Say this is your y-axis, this is your y, this is your x. And this is what it means that it has exactly one solution. It just touches the x-axis at one point. So exactly one solution implies your determinant, which is b squared minus 4ac, has to be zero. That is the relationship between exactly one solution or exactly one root and the determinant. So let me put a, b, and c into this equation. So this is k minus 3, the 4 squared minus 4 minus 4 times a is 1 times 0 0.25k is equal to 0. Okay, what happens now? This is expanding this. This is nothing but k minus 3 times k minus 3 minus. So this is point 4 times 0.25 is nothing but 1. So this is minus k is equal to 0. So expanding this again, so this is k squared, k squared, this is not k cubed, k times k is k squared, k times negative 3 is negative 3k, minus 3 times k is again minus 3k, and minus 3 times minus 3 is plus 9, minus k is equal to 0. Okay, so yeah. Simplifying this, so these are like terms, so this, I'm going to simplify this 3. So this is minus 3k minus 3k minus k is minus 7k. So k, seven square, k squared minus 7k plus 9 is equal to 0. Now we can't factorize this because you cannot find the two factors of 9 which gives you negative 7. So we have to use the quadratic formula. So again, this is your a, a is 1. B is, B is equal to negative 7 and C is equal to 9. Okay, so quadratic formula is in place of X, we'll write K because we want to find the value of K. So here, K is equal to, the formula is minus B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. So let us just substitute the values. So k would become, so k is equal to, uh, this is minus b is negative 7, so negative b would be 7, plus or minus 
this is square root of b squared so negative 7 times negative 7 is 49 minus 4 times 1 times 9 over 2 times 1 which is 2 okay so k would be k is equal to 7 plus or minus of course square root of 49 minus this is 36 over 2 so let us simplify this so this is k is equal to k is equal to this is plus or minus so again so 7 plus or minus my pen is not working properly square root of this is 13 over 2 so to be exact so this is k is equal to 7 over 2 plus square root of 13 over 2 or k can also be 7 over 2 minus minus square root of 13 over 2 so if you can use your calculator i don't have a calculator on me so if you want to write this in a decimal form this is the exact form uh, if you want to round this uh, one value of k would be 5 point one value of k would be 5.3 uh, in 1 dp and the other value of k when you use your graphic calculator or your simple calculator is 1.7 uh, in again 1 dp so these are the two solutions for where uh, for the quadratic equation this was our quadratic equation uh, to become this quadratic equation to become zero.